Hey, congratulations for being here at the Napa Valley Film Festival. How, prou how proud of it are you, is it that this film is being showcased here? <laughs> I'm really honored. I feel excited that, you know, that people find this work important and relevant and that they're excited to show it on their screens. So what initi initially attracted you to uh, something like Stealing School in the first place? Hmm. The initial attraction to Stealing School was... I think especially with lead roles uh, being more open to diversity now, more than they've been before, there is this, and like women playing superheroes, I feel like there's this inclination that, you know, if a woman plays a superhero, she should be like the, she should basically be a perfect human being. Or if a person of color is in this role, like they should be, they should show all the wonderful things that it means to be where that person is from and I really like that this role had a lot of imperfection and a lot of hardness and flaws and that she April's not a nice girl and she you know she morally compromises and I liked that I liked getting to play someone who wasn't good one of the things that I found fascinating is the film is very, how can you say, relevant today, especially with, you know, co colleges and plagiarism, as, as we know on the news. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Uh, I think it is relevant in terms of that. I think the thing that strikes me more is that there's a bit of a line between, I think sometimes when April says she's not guilty, she really believes it, and sometimes she does feel a little bit guilty. And so I think that that line is really interesting, like how... How much do we rewrite our memories to be able to justify what we thought we really did? And how much are we, you know, how, how right is memory? And so mm -hmm. I think that she, even throughout the film, she's, she's really justifying to herself too. And she's trying to convince herself that she was in the right. You play a variety of roles. Do you have upcoming projects? Because I remember you from Ready or Not. Oh, you do! I do. I, it was hilarious. Your scene was hilarious. Oh, thanks. If you, if you sneeze in that movie, you'll miss me. But yeah. it was a really, really fun thing to shoot. Um, upcoming things that haven't been released yet. Uh, I can't talk about... Oh... Hmm... Probably can't talk about yet, mm -hmm. but um, in a totally different vein than what I have been doing so far, I've the strangest thing. People people hate on improvers for some reason, and, oh, really? and they just they I don't know what this reputation improvers have gained of being like terrible human beings. But um, recently, I found that to be like an amazing refuge of just like letting go and not thinking and so uh, I'm developing some sketch comedy oh, wow. um, yeah with a friend who has his own production company but yeah we haven't released anything yet just to look forward to it sounds like comedy is your natural fit I don't really know I think I think play is feels natural to me and whatever form that comes up in feels really nice excellent hey congratulations and can't wait to check out your film thank you so much thank you